Hello everyone. Today we're going to be reviewing the 2012 Honda Civic LX. As you can see, this one does have a 5-speed manual transmission. Now we're going to go ahead and check out the exterior and talk about some of the specs and then check out the interior. Here are your tires, they are P19565 R15s, so they are 15 inch steel wheels with alloy style hubcaps. The exterior color is known as crystal black. And this Civic is powered by a 1.8 liter 4 cylinder engine that produces 140 horsepower. As I said earlier in the video, it is paired with a 5 speed manual transmission. This has to be my favorite generation of the Civic. It's just such a nice car. It's reliable, practical, affordable, and all of those good things such as simplicity. That's what I look for in a car. Before we check out the interior, we're gonna check out the key fob. It is your older style Honda key fob with your Honda logo integrated on the front. And on the back, you do have four buttons, lock, unlock, trunk release, and panic. This key fob was used in many of Honda's lineup. Door panels, soft cloth, cloth portion right here to put your arm. And it has a gray cloth interior, very high quality cloth seats. Your tachometer. I love the blue accents. Your speedometer up here. It has a three spoke final wrap steering wheel with all your steering wheel mounted controls to interact with the screens and the radio. Your speedometer is right here. It also displays the gas and your average MPG. As you can see, it does have 107,078 miles on it. Very reliable Civic. Your two air vents are right here. All the radio, radio presets volume knob, CD player, your normal climate control, it is not dual zone, but you expect this. It's a lower price car and it's an older car, and the AC is still nice and cold. You do get a small aux jack and a 12 volt power outlet cubby space right here, your 5-speed manual transmission shifter. It also has a manual handbrake with two cup holders right here as well as a cloth covered center console and it has a USB port. Your glove box, it's a fair size. Toggle switch rear view mirror with your two lights up here. Sun visor. It is your regular sun visor and does not slide, but that's okay. An air vent. Economy mode button with your trash control off button.
And that is all for the main cabin. Now we're going to go ahead and check out the rear seats. Soft cloth up here, same scenario as in the front seats. I have a great amount of space back here, plenty of space. You don't get a pocket on the driver's side, but you do get a pocket on the passenger side seats. No air vents. I wish I would have put air vents. And no center, con no center armrests since it's a base model. I wish they would have put a center armrest and air vents. And here's what it looks like from the rear seats. Now we're going to go ahead and check out the rear cargo space. Since it is your typical older Japanese car, the trunk release is actually mounted on the floor. Pull up. And then the trunk will open. Same as in the Toyota Corolla and other competitors at the time. The trunk struts have held up really well, even after 107,000 miles. And there is a lot of room back here. Very practical. You can also fold the seats down. As you can see, it does have an all-weather cargo mat. Let's go ahead and close this. Very solid dunk. You can also open the trunk with your key fob. It won't open completely, but it will open just enough. Like that you can open it yourself after. Let's close this door right here. And I have to say, this Civic is a true Honda. It has a VTEC engine and everything you will really want. These older Civics are truly gems. Thank you so much for watching this review. I, sh I hope you liked it. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and leave your car review suggestions below. And please tell me what you think about this car. I rated it an 8.5 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.